Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to your Calden reading. Don't forget to check the juice box below the video for all the juicy juicy. Let's see what our messages are for today. The first sensation I received is that of Labradorite. Many of you might be familiar with the stone. It has a certain starry opalescence and can be very uh, heightening for your awareness to use this stone. It has a lot of benefitic qualities. But also this could be a connection to your starry self. the codes and the sparks within your own DNA. This could be uh, your timed awakening as well. I'm also seeing a cloud over the moon. This is the full moon. So this is something that may be blocking your intuition. This also could be that uh, some information might be hidden from you or hidden from your perception. So make sure to check all your facts and details, get the truth out of situations. I'm also seeing a connection to the planet, the planet Saturn. Just so you can check your cosmology reports to see the placement of Saturn in your chart. I'm seeing a hand, and this hand is reaching to grab something. So this can be something that represents giving and receiving, creating, but also reaching out for what is yours. And this can also be finding new knowledge, inspiration, and wisdom. I'm also seeing a boomerang. It looks like um, an, an like indigenous boomerang. I don't know the word of the indigenous one, but this is a reminder that whatever energy you send out comes back. So if it's not yours, just return to sender. And if, if it is your energy, make sure that it's positive energy going out so that you receive that. This also has to do with your subconscious and the frequency to which you vibrate to. So whatever your vibration is, uh, this is what types of situations will attract into to reality. Even relationships, people, places, things, situations. Everything is a mirror. So if you don't like your reality, you have to change yourself on the inside. Uh, definitely check the juice box below the video for a couple links to my other channels and to some free sites to do your inner healing work. So I'm also seeing a scene about like, I want to say it could be a mountain, doesn't have to be, but I see a stream bed with like a large uh, granite boulder. Uh, and there are small fishes swimming underneath the surface of the water. So this could be something uh, to look for within your subconscious. And also this could be your dream time. Uh, if you keep a dream journal or if you are attuned to your dreaming, you might find the answers that you're looking for in your dreams. Also, this can be about your wealth and abundance growing, general good luck, and
discovering new spiritual insights. I also see a connection to the morning star, Venus. You can again check your chart for Venus. And this also has a connection to many, many indigenous cultures, especially those who know of the tree of life or have cultural connection to the tree of life. This is all about great leaders, which you are one of today's great leaders. You found your connection to the tree of life. It holds sacred knowledge and sacred teachings throughout many cultures. I was also seeing earlier an eye. And it seemed to have like a greenish hazel color. But this could be a uh, watcher back and also you may be being watched. So it's a good time to be aware of your situations to protect your energy and also to just practice discernment. I don't feel this is a negative eye. It's just an observative eye, uh, but it's your choice of what you allow in your field. So heighten your awareness and pay close attention. This also can be your perception, opening to new things and seeing other realms and other worlds. I'm also seeing a tiny water bug. This is like, I'm unfamiliar with what type of bug this is, but it is small, it's black, and you would see it kind of crawling around in the mud or in shallow parts of the water. So this could be something that's getting under your skin, getting the sensation of there's something trying to come from your subconscious into the light. So working with your shadow right now might be beneficial. Also, this can be a blessing in disguise I'm hearing. So this also might be linked with your perception of things. I'm seeing also a dog head. This is loyalty. But this is also love and admiration and loving what is loyal to you and being loyal to uh, like the essence of true love, unconditional love. And being loyal to who loves you. I'm also seeing with the dog, um, I heard a good old scratch behind the ears. So maybe some of you have dogs and they are your protectors and your guardians. So this is kinship. This is also your family bond and I'm seeing a circle, like the circle of life within your own 
like family connections. So this can be generational healing as well. And I feel called to stop your cauldron reading here. I do have a couple cards for you today. We have Freya and we have the Vision Singer. So the Vision Singer is a heart-shaped harp. This is poetry, imagination, creativity. This is the heart. This is the essence of your heart. This is singing things into being. This is deep shamanic medicine. So this is also a link to your own manifestation. This is the three mistakenly I want to say drink, but because it's only three drops of magic potion from the cauldron, it's not much of a drink, but tasting those three magical drops by mistake and gaining that full illumination. So for some of you, this might be also your kundalini rising, your kundalini awakening. So if you want to journey further with this harp, you can imagine going to a grassy hilltop and beside you is this magical harp, which you begin to play and begin to sing. It doesn't matter if you have any musical experience, but you go into the vibration and you go into the song with all of your heart until you feel the lightness of your own heart and receive the information that you need. And we also have Freya. So this is embracing all aspects of your wondrous nature. This is being bold and adventuresome. This is claiming your independence and sovereignty and going in your own direction. I'm also seeing a grandmother figure here. So some of you may have a grandmother with you who is your protector right now. Uh, but this is the ancestor that you can call on. And you may feel her standing over your right shoulder behind you as well. So also there's, there's a link here to being a rainbow warrior, whether you're an indigo, a crystal child, a rainbow child, or maybe you have children who are rainbow children. But this is following the unled path. And taking off in your own direction on your own adventure, engaging fully with life and all the inhabitants you find on your journey. 